Alright, what's going on YouTube? Jimmy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Back with another bit of a little bit of a different video. A lot of little bits. I uh, got a little bit of a different video for you guys today. And today this is, by the title you probably already know, this is kind of my MLB 17 wish list. Uh, actually, I just scribbled a bunch of stuff on a paper. So I'm kind of just going to go through with it. Maybe throw something else on the screen at the same time. Um, but basically, I don't have like a number. This is just things that while thinking, I think uh, either is in the works or I think would really, really benefit the game and mostly uh, around Diamond Dynasty, but the game as well. Uh, obviously, I love, you know, all the changes that have been made by San Diego Studios over the last few years. I've been playing MLB since MLB 06 and even prior before it was San Diego Studios and it was 989. So I've been playing this game for a very long time and I play it every year. Uh, but this is the first year that uh, through January I'm still actually playing this game. Not as much, but I'm still playing this game and still having fun with it. Uh, so I'd like that to be something that this was the pretty much the bulk of what I played throughout the year. And these are just a couple of things that I think could help the game. So first off, I love what EA did this year with FIFA. Uh, and honestly, I 100% believe that it's something that should be completely stolen. Now, I'm pretty sure EA was the first to start with foot, mutt, and hut with uh, NHL, uh, NFL, and FIFA with the Ultimate Team stuff. So I'm glad Diamond Dynasty came along and you know had its own baseball variation of it. But the first thing I want is champs now what that is in fifa they have this thing called the weekend league uh essentially what it is is in the beginning of the year you try to qualify in a tournament four game tournament you got to win all four games and then you qualify for the weekend league now they throw different variations of how you qualify sometimes you have to use you know all players from this league or all players from this nationality or at least eight players you know from this team whatever the case may be they have you know different stipulations uh, to to enter uh, the the qualification round once you qualify I believe Friday night uh, through Monday morning uh, you play 40 games and Depending how many games you win you earn a certain rank and you're rewarded a certain amount of cards a certain amount of coins And it's just awesome. So I really want that to be you know some way to bring more to the competitiveness to MLB because as it stands there's you know four leagues or spring training there's Division Series, there's Championship Series, and then there's World Series. And it's it's a rating system. So it's basically just online rated with your own team. It, it doesn't really add any variety, any variations. Whereas FIFA has 10 different leagues. Uh, obviously, you know, there's a draw system in FIFA, which, you know, there isn't in baseball. That's one of the beauties of baseball. But if they were to incorporate a champion, you know, a, a foot champs or an MLB champs, like a uh, theme it will bring competitiveness to the table and it rewards players who play a lot of games so i i think that idea is phenomenal and i wish it was something that were added uh to mlb 17. now number two the second thing i would like added uh is sbc this is also from fifa 100 percent stolen most of my ideas are stolen from fifa and 2k and all the other games that i've played uh S sbc squad builder challenges uh, every now and then they'll have uh, a random squad builder challenge uh, pop out. I, I don't know exactly when the dates is. I believe they come out at certain times. And basically you have to lock players uh, into the squad builder challenge. And it'll say, you know, make an 84 rated team. Again, with stipulations with eight guys from Spain, you know, four guys, you know, and the, the chemistry has to match. That's all FIFA stuff. I don't want that in MLB. Uh, but basically, you, you, you get that, and then they reward you, you know, with usually giving up, you know, 11 cards that you're not going to use to get back one really, really good card. And, of course, you're not obligated to do this, uh, but there's rewards like coins, there's packs, and there's, there's new players that uh, can only be obtained through the squad builder challenges. So that's something that I'd like to see in the game. All right, number three, and I think, honestly, this one is a big one. I think this is a change that I've wanted from the get-go. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Insider Edge. I like the Insider Edge, and I like the, you know, the live rosters, and I like that updating in normal gameplay. I, I'm not a fan of it in, you know, Ultimate Team or Diamond Dynasty. I'm, not, I'm just not a fan of cards that update like that. If I work my butt off for, you know, uh, Bryce Harper in the beginning of the year... And he's not having a great year. I don't want that car. I don't want that to determine the market. 2K used to do this, uh, and also they had where if players got hurt, 
you know, you couldn't use them, you couldn't sell them, and basically you were just stuck with it. So I, I definitely am not a fan of Insider Edge. I also think this will allow there to be many different variations of players who are playing now today. Uh, essentially the same way Madden has, you know, Team of the Week and FIFA has Team of the Week, Team of the Month, Team of the Tournament, Team of the Year. Uh, there, there's like six different Ronaldos. So, you know, you go from having a 92 overall Ronaldo to then they're now being a 99 overall Ronaldo, where both cards are very good if you really want to pay the price or grind really hard for that more expensive card, you get it. So if Bryce Harper comes out as a 92 overall early in the season and he doesn't have a good season, you're stuck with that 92 overall Bryce Harper. Uh, whereas if Nolan Arenado starts off as an 88 and he's just killing the league, he goes, uh, you know, he gets a 94 overall card, a 96 overall card, a 98 overall card, and now you having that uh, 88 overall Nolan Arenado is not as impressive as you having the 98 overall Arenado. So I think getting rid of Insider Edge would be a great idea moving forward with MLB 17. All right, now this one may seem like a little cheesy and a little unnecessary, but I absolutely love uh, both the way FIFA and the way 2K do it. And then the next topic is uh, when pulling packs, and I'm not even, not going to touch the pack odds at the moment. When pulling packs, um, there is no, you know, there isn't as much excitement as there is in 2K and FIFA. In FIFA, they have they have added this new method uh, of of really good cards coming out and it's called walkouts uh so what happens is if you get a walkout there's a delay and and basically based on the delay uh you kind of know uh what tier car you're getting so if you're getting a really good card there's an extra second pause but it's noticeable after you've ripped a couple thousand packs and uh suddenly the card art appears and then it, you're just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting then the flag drops of the na the nation of the player uh, then the then the team shows up and then the position shows up and you go I think you know Brazilian flag and left back Real Madrid I think this is Marcelo and then you you get Marcelo so there is a little buildup 2K has where you know 2K has five player packs uh, very similar to NBA packs or MLB packs uh, except essentially you don't see the cards you can either reveal all the cards at once or you can go individually to each of them and reveal them. However, when you highlight each card, it shows you what tier that card is. Whether it's a bronze, a silver, a gold, ruby, amethyst, a diamond, and that is where the hype is built up. You don't reveal all, you just highlight it, and then you realize you got a really good card. Big, big flare, big flash. It's just a little more fun to the entertaining side, I guess. Plus, you know, I'm sure you see that flash. It's just really, really fun. So I think that's something that could be added to liven up the pack opening because i'm gonna be honest when i'm opening a ton of packs it's really boring and then when i see a diamond it's like i see the diamond and then i just click you know i i, I you know most likely i by by clicking x once i pretty much already know who that diamond is uh as well as the fact that there isn't as many diamond variation but that ties into the insider edge stuff as well all right now this is one of the biggest one and of course there isn't much i can say about this we all know it exists we all have a problem with it uh, there is the bunt cheese. Uh, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is in the programming. I feel as if, uh, since I've recently been playing the older MLBs and you can take a look back, I have been experimenting with it. Uh, I'd say this would be the worst year when it comes to bunt cheese. Uh, I would say that corner infielders react a lot less and there's a much higher percentage of batters putting the ball in play, especially with two strikes uh, who have really, really low bunt attributes, really, really low speed, and they can still somehow get on base. Uh, I'm hoping that's passed in the next year. There is, again, there's not much we can discuss about it. We've Everyone hates bunchies, unless you are a bunchieser. And even then, when you are, you get frustrated when somebody does it to you. Um, but it's something that I would like to see away from the game because it is a game about hitting, pitching, and fielding, whereas, you know, I'd say over 30% of online gameplay is bunting because it is sort of an exploit. Uh, so I, I don't blame as much uh, the players who are doing it, although I do. Uh, but it is something that I wish if it were toned down a little bit, players wouldn't be doing it, obviously. All right, now the next one, I, I think this is my own personal opinion uh, because a lot of people will disagree with me on this one. I do believe um, when playing Road to the Show, I personally do not do not care for playing as much time in the minors. I would, m myself, I would much rather 
there be a lot a lot quicker road to the majors but a lot longer to develop i'm okay i'm okay with playing two three seasons and still being you know a 78 80 overall you know trying to fight fight for that starting position you know if i get drafted by the dodgers i don't mind being uh the bench guy for Corey seager if i'm a shortstop uh, I'm, I'm okay with that but I don't want to be in the minor leagues. I, I would much rather be, you know, um, you, we, we, you're developing your skills um, in your, you know, in your 120, 150 at bats this season. How well did you do? Now it becomes a matter of the next year. It's a spring. It's a real spring training battle between me and Corey Seager. Corey Seager has a bad spring, so I get a few games to start, and they st- and they keep rotating us in. Then they realize, hey, maybe we found our starting shortstop. Let's try to deal Corey Seager. I would like it to be something more like that than something where it's like I'm just, you know, I'm I'm killing it in the minors, batting four or five hundred. I get called up to spring training. The other shortstop bats to you know one one ninety two twenty, and I'm just killing it. And then I got to go back to AAA for another year. Like I, you know, but I do believe they they are making some strides when it comes to road to the show, and it is something that they're working on. And I know they're adding a storyline the same way uh, FIFA did with uh, Mar- Anthony Martial and Two uh, K did as well with bringing your player out of college. Uh, there is more of a storyline. Uh, but I'm, I'm not as focused on the storyline as much as I am the, uh, you know, the, the getting the road to the show that simply the other topic that kind of relates to this one that people have kind of brought up. Uh, and of course it's brought up more because this is something 2k did. I'm not saying I hate it. I'm not saying I love it. Uh, but it is something to think about if they were to figure out a way to perfect it before throwing it out to us. Uh, and the way 2K does players is you now choose a player archetype. What I mean by this is, at the moment, I am in 2K a small forward sharpshooter. Uh, what that means by this is I can pretty much max out my sh- my shooting, my deep range, uh, my mid range. I'm not as good when it comes to shooting off the dribble. I'm not as good when it comes to rebounding. I'm not as quick. Uh, and I'm not as good at dribbling the ball, but I can shoot the lights out. Now, there's other architect. There's there's many archetypes, and whether you make a playmaker or someone who uh, simply just dribbles and passes, but isn't particularly a good uh, shooter. Now, is this something that I would like to see translated into the game? Again, I would like it to be a lot more difficult to reach that level, to reach a very high level. But I wouldn't like to to be. Um, capped off to where I can't make my player excel in different parts of the game. Uh, I'd like it for me to make a, a shortstop who I'm a defensive shortstop, but you know, for the first few years of my career, uh, I'm really, really defensive, defensive minded. And once I've perfected my craft in defense, then I can continue uh, growing my hitting attributes in a way, but not to say that, you know, I, I don't also want to be the Barry Bonds of hitting. But I want to be able to still be very good, but just it'd be a longer road to get there. All right, now this next one uh, comes completely from the fact that on Thursdays, I have been doing kind of a throwback uh, type of videos. What I'd like to see is I would like to create a stadium. Now, I played MVP Baseball 05, and man, I, I realized why I love that game back in 2005, because still today, it's a very playable game. Uh, and because it be, with that, there is create a stadium. You create your own stadiums and franchise. I would like to see that, especially in a place where we play uh, online. You know, Diamond Dynasty is the, the main, mainly what I play and what a lot of people play. Um, I, of course, I, I want there to be some sort of limitations where I'm not playing with an 800 foot center field and 130 foot to left and right. Uh, although, you know, it changes the dynamics, so we're not playing on the same 30 stadiums plus. 10 classic stadiums, as I do know, there are adding more stadiums, but it, it adds a little variety so that, you know, I never know who I'm playing against, what stadium he's going to have, uh, what it's going to look like, and you can do a lot of fun different things with your team and your logos uh, to make it fit to your stadium. That'd be really cool, and I, and I definitely think it's something that uh, maybe in the future could be considered and brought into the game. All right, now this one, next one, again, it is something that I've more or less stolen uh, if you have played 2K, then a lot of you have played uh, franchise and GM modes. Uh, and basically with this, you can essentially, when you create a franchise, 
you can create your own leagues the way you want to do them. Uh, and with this, you can also relocate teams. The same with Madden, you can do that uh, to certain cities, or you can make your own team in your own cities, essentially. Uh, I think it would be great to bring a team back to Brooklyn. Uh, so, so little things like that where you can make it a 32-team league or a 34, 36, or 40-team league so that it's a little more balanced and you can play with a group of friends online as well. Uh, that'd be really interesting. It's something that could be, you know, implemented, and you know, I, you can start your own team from your own team from scratch, uh, with no, with not much finances, with not much resources, with no players, and you know, you just have to scrap up the players available and work yourself for a few years, or you can uh, start over with everybody redrafting, and everyone kind of have a fresh start with there being new teams to compete with as as well, new rivalries to create, and just a whole lot of fun. And uh, you take this online and it is just going to be a lot of fun for you and a group of friends. Another thing I would like to see is kind of, I would like there to be a ranked mode versus an unranked mode. And, and by that I mean, uh, basically, where not everyone I'm playing is, you know, if, if I face every once in a while... I, I, I am only an 1890 player. I've been in the high 1900s, mid to 1900s before. I'm currently at 1890, 1900. Haven't been playing as much lately. Uh, but a lot of times when I do, all I a, a lot of times I face you know teams that really should not be competing with me. Uh, guys who just want to get on and play, but don't want to get mercy ruled. Uh, it'd be fun if you know there were a mode where hey you know you can play a little less competitively, have a little more fun, maybe get your bunchies on and do that. And then there's a mode where you're going to face a lot better competition and not just based off your rank. It's just if you want to go in against the Wolves, you never know what you're going to get versus, you know, this is for non-ranked guys. And then there would be kind of a prize system based off of that, like better rewards for guys who go into ranked and play the best of the best. That's something that, would be, that, that could be extremely fun and beneficial for the community as well. All right, so this one I 100% have to bring up. Another thing is uh, when playing MLB 06 and 09 and 15 and 13 and all the other games I've played recently, um, I, I feel I'm not the only one who notices. People who have watched my videos as well have also noticed this. Um, Matt Vaskersian needs an update. Matt Vaskersian has been uh, commentating the game since the game launched in 06, and there's, there's, al there's always new stuff added to the game. But a lot, but I would say 80% of it is recycled. Uh, and every year he brings on the same commentary. I know when he's gonna say "ouch back" and things like that. And and um, I love it. It's classic. But I think it's time to redo that. I'm not saying get rid of Matt Vaskersian. Love Matt Vaskersian. But I would like there to be a bigger update to his commentary than there has been in the last few years. All right, so another thing I kind of am taking from the page of MLB 06 is back in MLB 06, there was two teams, two legendary teams, Golden Era and Silver Era. And if I'm correct, I do believe it was a 25-man roster. That means that there were 50 legendaries in MLB 06. Now, it's been over a decade since MLB 06. And I would say last year in MLB 15, we had a lot less legendary players. Uh, so I, I'm not sure exactly how many legends we're going to get this year. I do believe last year, what was it, 30, 60 this year possibly, 90 next year. I do believe there are a lot of players that they're kind of holding back on, and I don't know if they're doing this to use in future MLB since Diamond Dynasty wasn't a thing back there. But I would like to have a lot more variety in, in, in um, what's legendary players. Now, if it's something where... They only release each legend once throughout the year, and they don't want to use them again until the you know a couple years down the line, or they're they were not going to use them at all. I would rather they you know give me a Pittsburgh Barry Bonds, and then the next year, since they've already given us a Pittsburgh Barry Bonds, give us a Pittsburgh Barry Bonds and a San Francisco Giants Barry Bonds. Uh, if they, you know, obviously they did a great job. They gave us three Alex Rodriguez this year. And I think that was a move in that direction. But there are Cincinnati Reds, Seattle Mariners, Griffey. Uh, so things like that, like, you know, I, I hope that they don't hold back on certain legendaries that they can use so that, because they want to use them in future years. Give them to us every single year. No one's going to complain. I don't think anyone's going to complain about that at all. 
So another thing that I be I think is just a very short thing to touch on, but would be kind of cool uh, is to bring some sort of charge the mount feature. Of course, uh, I don't want it to be something that could be uh, exploited or used too often, but I think every now and then a player is online, he's frustrating, he beams at you a couple times, charge the mount, both players get tossed, uh, gives kind of like a momentum to the team, uh, or the next pitcher up, his confidence goes down, something like that I think would be kind of cool uh, if you pick and choose when to fight at the correct times, or maybe even control them like you do in NHL, uh, and whoever wins the fight is uh, granted some sort of momentum boost or, or uh, increase, you know, like plus five or ten to vision or contact or something like that, or the pitcher's attributes go down a little. I think that's something that could be pretty cool. Uh, it just adds another feature to the game and another, you know, you know, different, something different. So this one is the one I least have any faith in happening anytime soon. Um... But wow, would it be great. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Park lately. And that is in 2K, it's pretty much you load up with a couple friends and you play uh, more of an arcade type version of NBA 2K. And it's, it's you know, street ball basically. And it's a lot of fun. And it's a lot more fun because it's a game mode I can play with a couple friends. I can play with one friend, two friends, three friends. Or I can take it into Pro-Am, uh, which is, you know, more of the actual, you know, a more realistic version of the game. And go play five on five with my buddies. Now I get the baseball is nine on nine, and it could be very difficult. But what if I can take my creative player from Road to the Show, uh, shortstop with his overall, and I can play a three inning game with four of my buddies, and the rest be controlled by the CPU, and it's just you know a a, a, a little bit of a different game. So if I have a pitcher, regardless if I have a starting pitcher or, or a closing pitcher, uh, if I have a closing pitcher, I'd be given a little more stamina. But basically, I'm the one pitching the entire game, the entire three innings. And, you know, I have my friends playing shortstop, another friend playing right field or catcher. Uh, and we each come up and hit uh, and base run for ourselves. I think that's something that'd be a little interesting. Uh, but again, for like the pitchers, instead of stamina, uh, you give him something like momentum based on how well he's pitching, he's doing better. If he's not pitching so well, a little tougher for him to get out of the third inning or whatever the case may be. Again, this is something I see less likely happening, but I think, wow, it would really change uh, the fun factor of MLB when playing with a group of friends. Of course, as we know, FIFA also has this with 11 on 11. So having a lot of players, it's not impossible. So this one's another one of those things that it would be really great, um, but I understand. Actually, I don't understand if it didn't. Uh, one thing I would like to see is basically jersey generator in Diamond Dynasty. A lot of people have been asking for this for a long time. Either I want to one download a custom jersey the same way you do uh, with rosters. I'd love to download. You know, if someone makes. Uh, a phenomenal throwback Miami Hurricanes baseball uniform and I don't want to go ahead and make that and it's got a rating and I can just go ahead and download it that would be great or if I want to have myself create four five six ten different uniforms I could be able to load them load into them anytime therefore if I create a Yankees all-time build I can throw on a Yankee jersey on everyone if I want to do a Giants build I don't have to sit and spend 20 minutes to make that jersey then try to go back to my original jersey I can just make a bunch of different jerseys uh, so I think that's something that it's I don't know I don't know what it takes I don't know the programming side to it I, I don't know the server side to it or what what the issue is with that but it's something that I feel has been asked for a while and it's just it's just something that's not you know spoken about SD at SDS not something that they say they're gonna do so I don't know maybe there is some limitations to it but I really wish that was something that we could overcome and add to Diamond Dynasty this is another big one uh, more to kind of what I was just saying uh, and I'm confident this year. This is the this is the first year I'm going to say I'm confident. From 14 to 15, there wasn't as much hype with this game as there was from 15 to 16. From 16 to 17, I expect the exact same thing. I'm expecting a lot of new play. I'm expecting all the players who were in the beginning of 16 to be here at 17, plus a whole lot more. The game is growing absolutely great. However the servers need to be there on launch this this issue drove away a lot of potential new players who would play a very long time of the year because the servers were not ready uh 
I I know I don't I know San Diego Studios is not the biggest team. They probably do not have the most when it comes to server as compared to EA, but we have to ex expect there to be a lot more people. So if the servers are crashing on March 28th or whatever the date is and no one's able to get a game and we get a bunch of challenge failed, a lot of people are going to be disappointed. So I, I am confident that this is the year that they, they finally realize this game is going to be really, really good. There's going to be a lot of new people who are starting to feel um, maybe not so much 2K dying, uh, but uh, Madden dying. FIFA dying, uh, NHL dying, so there's going to be a lot, of pe a lot of people at, in the beginning of April trying to play this game. So if these servers are 100%, that would be amazing. That is one of my biggest wish with this game because I will be up late grinding. And I'm pretty sure I'm getting the hard copy, not the digital. So for those of you, you're going to have to wait a couple hours before I'm on, but I will be on in the middle of the night, whether I'm streaming or making some videos for the morning. But I, I'm pretty sure I, that's, that is my plan at the moment. Another big old bugaboo, the base running. Um, I, it could just be me. It could just be me who just sucks at base running, but I don't think so because a lot of people have been complaining about this one. The base running has been uh, kind of an issue at a long time. It seems that they sometimes do whatever they want. They sometimes have a mind of their own. Sometimes you hold L1 and you let go and you see it says he stopped rounding third and he's going back, but then next thing you know it says home and he's on his way home and you get you know the catchers holding the ball waiting not going to say much about this i would just love the base running to be fixed uh obviously from 15 to 16 after i played 15 i realized there was some improvements with it uh based on where you're telling runners to go when you select them individual you didn't even have the option of seeing what that where they were going it was basically you select them and you told them where to go remember where they're going remember to stop them however now we have a you know hud telling us where they are going uh, but sometimes again, they do what they want. Sometimes L1 does what they what what is wrong base running wise So I'm hoping next year that that's something an, an issue that's been fixed I know they stopped pretty much working on this game a long time ago and working to get 17 So I'm hoping and, I, and I'm truly confident that next year the base running thing will be addressed I think that is one of the issues. We're not gonna be seeing as much All right, so I only got two more points to make and they're pretty quickly uh, I've pretty much already addressed this. I want there to be more cards again with adding more legends with adding more flashbacks um, I don't know exactly Which uh, filters they are but you go into diamond dynasty right now you go into the community market You go to live series you go to legend series you see over seven pages of players You go to postseason flashbacks and you only you see less than ten players. There's are, are different faces uh, are same faces different places Another series, you only see like 10, 10 cards. There's so much they can do with these uh, with these two categories alone. There's more postseason heroes than Beltran. There's more postseason heroes than Madison Bumgarner who have just had phenomenal postseason. There's more postseason heroes than Freeze. So I just feel that like there was so much more they could have done with this. But for those two categories, there's less than 20 cards, I believe. Um, so I would like there to be more series, more different series, more, uh, you know, Mother's Day series. Dallas Braden. Dallas Braden flashback card. I, I'm, I'm just using an example. I don't know. You know, they probably don't have the rights to Dallas Braden. Um, and they're probably not going to pay for it either. But still, you know, bring back things like the, you know, different things like this. Uh, breast cancer awareness. Guys who do, who excel in the month of October. Uh, no shave November guys who don't shave in November or some something, you know, FIFA's got that I know there's no baseball then but still um, There's just so much they can do to add different varieties to the cards and I would just love to see that I'd love there to be you know for you know a version of Brandon Phillips Phillips who had a particular stretch where he was just you know a 400 hitter But what didn't have power so this Brandon Phillips has more contact and power and then there's a stretch of Brandon Phillips where he had, you know, this month where he just had amazing power numbers, but he was batting 260. So yes, he, he has less contact, less power, just different variations of every card. And I think this starts with getting rid of Insider Edge. And I hope, but I doubt this is something they're going to do. And the last point I've got to make, and it's a really short one. I, I, I don't want to trigger a lot of people, but I sometimes joke around. Maybe I'm not joking and say that the National League is not a real league because pitchers have to hit and they get pretty much get a free out like 99% of the time. Don't don't be triggered. I don't like 
pitchers hitting. I get that it adds another dynamic in bringing players off the bench, but I would much rather have a DH there. I don't care if you put an, a Ted Williams as your DH. I don't care. That's pitching. That is baseball. You have to get through nine hitters. And I, I, I personally would like to see the DH just be completely removed, or excuse me, the hitter pitchers hitting for instead of a DH. I would like that to be completely removed from Diamond, Diamond Dynasty. Let me choose my five uh, pitchers. And let me just pick, pick my nine guys and make it more that my bench guys are guys who come uh, in lefty versus lefty situation or righty versus righty situation or pinch running as it is in a real game. Whereas in Diamond Dynasty, I'm using all five pinch hitters because after the fourth inning, I'm pretty much going to my bullpen because it's a crucial situation. So my starting pitcher just gets no action. Uh, I'd like my, you know, starting pitchers to get seven innings without me having to make any moves. Uh, and then basically me work my bullpen based off matchups and even potentially use four or five relievers in a game uh, as opposed to, you know, each reliever pitching an inning from the third inning on because I had a crucial situation in which I did not want my pitcher hitting. Uh, but that's just me, and that's pretty much where I'm leaving this wish list. If you guys have any of your own things that you want to add to this game or you want to see in MLB 17 that I didn't cover or that I did cover, let it be known down in the comment section below. Of course, I will be reading through those. Uh, I just kind of want to see where you guys stand. Let me know what you guys think about my w wish list, what you agree with me, what you don't agree with me, uh, and kind of give me your perspective and your view on what you guys think. And uh, yeah, guys, that's that's been it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this wish list. If you did, please make sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And peace. Saying and explain all the pain that it cost him. My 16 should have came with a coffin. For the fame and the fortune. Well, maybe not the fortune. But one thing is for sure that the fame is exhausting. That's why I moved away. I needed privacy. Surrounded by the trees in Ivy League. Students that's recruited higher league. Thinking you do you and I do me. Crib has got a big old back of yard. My niggas.